channel helpful hit the bell icon and do subscribe don't forget to share with your friends happy coding with nr tech studio welcome back netizens in this video i'll try to explain the code level implementation of selection sort you can check out my previous video in the description to have an idea of what selection sort is refer that video and come back to this to learn how to code a selection sort for this tutorial, I am using an online Java compiler. You also can try the same, so don't need to install any type of software to practice coding questions. Let's get started with the today's tutorial. Here you can see this is the online compiler I am using to uh, code the selection sort algorithm. There is a uh, default uh, coding. Uh, they are using to print a hello world print statement uh, before start coding. Uh, you can simply erase that statement then you have to uh, define your array Sixty-four. Let's say we have an array uh, with five elements: twenty-five, twelve, thirty-four, fifty-six. Uh, then we just put a uh, simple uh, system dot out print element statement uh, just to print out our uh, array uh, for that we have to use a inbuilt uh, uh, java library uh, called uh, java util arrays i i have to import it as well wait um, first we call that function then we import it System dot output int ln dot to string then we have to simply import it at the top import otherwise that program will not work java dot util dot arrays then simply put the same column then we have to call our function we have to create a, a function called sort okay then call the uh, function with the uh, array name we have to pass the array when calling the function then semicolon then again we have to put the print statement then we can uh, print our array after the execution of the uh, sorting function then we can see uh, what are the difference of uh, before uh, ex before executing the function and after execution of the function okay uh, before execution of the function array will be printed in the uh, different order after the array will be printed in the ascending mode then you can check that order when printing the array uh, okay then we have to create the function then uh, public static since uh, we are not creating any objects we have to uh, create this function as a static function then only we can uh, call the function from the uh, main function uh, otherwise we have to create a uh, object uh, from this class and then only we can call the function since we are calling from the static function uh, we have to create this function also as a static function 
okay uh, if you have any questions you can ask in the comment section uh, i'll explain in deep uh, okay uh, then public static written type is uh, void uh, sort you have to pass the array and array then first we have to take the array size we have to store that array size array dot length we can store the array length here then we can uh, iterate uh, through the for loop for that we have to create the for loop to iterate uh, through the array so int i equal 0 less than n minus 1 it should go up to n minus 1 okay because the array indexing starting from 0 up to array length minus 1 because array indexing starting from 0 now then i plus plus then we have to define a variable uh, like uh, min index okay like uh, we have to store the uh, first variable as the uh, minimum index let's say that we just in storing just we are just uh, thinking uh, the first element is the uh, minimum variable minimum uh, element like that we just uh, assume it okay likewise we are storing that one as an assumption as an assumption likewise then we are starting the next for loop and uh, again iterating for the passing uh, if you can't if you can't understand the concept uh, you can uh, refer my uh, selection sort algorithm concept video tutorial uh, i will put the uh, link in the description box okay you can understand the mechanism there uh, this for loop for uh, iterating the passing okay there are passes now so to access the passes we have to create another for loop then only we can iterate through the array elements okay then int j this starting from i plus one j less than n j plus plus then there should be a condition to check whether uh, the first the first, first element is uh, less than that uh, that we already stored now that uh, first element is the minimum one that our assumption that assumption is uh, correct or not likewise uh, checking here with the first element uh, then the condition is like array j we are accessing the first element here j whether the array j array j array j is the jth element of array j is less than or min edx we are checking whether it's uh, less than our previous uh, our assumption we are checking whether it's uh, less than our assumption if it is true only it's coming to the it's coming with the uh, inside our uh, method body okay then we have to assign we have to uh, reassign the value if, the, if, the, if that one is correct then you have to reassign the min idx value to j okay 
you can identify like this uh, i help i put a simple comment like uh, swap the pound minimum element with the first one okay after that all four loops are ended okay now we are coming out of the four loops and we have to swap the elements In this for loop, we have to swap the elements. We have to so store that one for a temporary variable. Then only we can swap the elements. Uh, in temp, uh, we have to store that min index for a temporary variable. Then only we can uh, swap it later. with the uh, smallest one then if you have any doubts you can ask in the comment section i know you have questions you can ask anything i'll ex i'll try to explain Now you can understand here we what we did was like uh, we found that uh, min idx is the minimum element then we are storing that one in the temporary variable after that we are swapping that one uh, with the array element i okay array element i with the minimum index min idx after that what we stored in temp variable again we are swapping with array element i likewise only we have to swap you can remember uh, in the previous video uh, how to swap in we, i have just uh, show you in the uh, diagram how to swap, how to do the swapping in the uh, drawing section only this is how doing in the programming uh, we have to store the elements in the temporary variable after that only we have to do the swapping okay let's check whether this coding is working now uh let's see execute and there are some errors what is this uh, illegal start of so we i put here the square bracket this should be the curly place I think it's working fine. Okay, now that is working fine. Uh, okay, now it's working fine. Now uh, you can check the code. If you have any doubts or any questions, you can ask in the comment section now. Just uh, send me a message. Uh, okay, guys. Uh, see you in the um, tutorial. Uh, see you in the, in the tutorial. Uh, have a good day. Happy coding with Nnatech Studio.
this channel helpful hit the bell icon and do subscribe don't forget to share with your friends happy coding with nrtech studio